going on college football fans the transfer portal has been absolutely insane this offseason and in this video i'm going to give you guys my top 10 players that transferred to new schools that will be the most impactful for this upcoming college football season i'm ready to get started just want to say subscribe if you guys are new we do a ton of college sports content here on the channel you don't want to miss it if you guys are a college sports fan and yeah guys let's get it started before our top 10 i have a few honorable mentions here for you guys today my first one is actually a pair of players that transferred out of two different schools dominic lovett the wide receiver out of missouri and rara thomas the transfer receiver out of mississippi state both sec receivers transferring to the same school in georgia now i think these two players as a pair who have sec experience who combined last season for over a thousand yards and 10 touchdowns both heading to Georgia are really going to help that wide receiver core up and, and, and be there with Carson Beck, Brock Bowers, and what's going to be another dominant Georgia team. I think that they are going to be very impactful this season, and they come in here as an honorable mention. Next honorable mention is a former five-star corner out of high school, and he did play his freshman season last year at Texas A&M, and that is Denver Harris. He did have a pretty solid freshman season for the Aggies last season, but he is now transferring and he is going to go play his sophomore season for Brian Kelly and the LSU Tigers, which should have a very stacked defense and just a stacked team overall this season. And I think that he can be much improved after the after that very solid freshman year that he put together there in College Station. Now in Baton Rouge, I think that he could take a jump up in a sophomore year and be a very impactful corner on LSU this season. Our final honorable mention is J. Michael Sturdvant. He is a transfer from Cal University. He was a wide receiver there last year and was a freshman. Put together an amazing freshman season, almost a thousand yards, a bunch of touchdowns, and he has transferred to UCLA to play this upcoming season. I think that he is going to be an awesome wide receiver for UCLA this year in a sophomore year. Could be wide receiver one there in chip kelly's offense i think that he is going to have a monster year definitely surpass a thousand yards receiving this year for the bruins now let's get into the actual top tens now coming in here at number 10 we do actually have an offensive tackle and that is jeremiah byers i do think that the offensive tackle position is one of the most underappreciated positions if not the most underappreciated position in all of football college football nfl high school whatever level you're playing at offensive tackle is underappreciated and it does play a huge impact in this game and i think jeremiah byers is one of the better offensive tackles in the country very interested to see since he did transfer to Florida State, he will be protecting Jordan Travis, which is going to be huge for that Florida State offensive line. We'll see if he stays at the right tackle position or if he actually moves to the left tackle position to protect Jordan Travis's blind side. He is really good, and this was a great pickup, one of many great pickups for Florida State this offseason. Coming in here at number nine, I do have a transfer out of Virginia University, and we actually have another transfer from Virginia coming later in this video as well. But this one is an inside linebacker from the Cavs, and that is Nick Jackson. He is going to be playing his fifth year of college football this season, and he has transferred to Iowa. Now, Iowa has a history of producing some really good middle linebackers in past years and they always have a very good defense well they are adding nick jackson from virginia who had a hundred tackles last season and five sacks and oh yeah he also had about four or five pass defenses as well so he can play in coverage as well he is a do-it-all guy going to play all over the field and the in an iowa defense that's already stacked year in year in and year out he is going to play a huge role and a huge impact in the Big Ten West this season. Coming in here at number eight, I do have another transfer that transferred to a Big Ten West school, and that is Tanner Mordecai, the former Oklahoma and former SMU quarterback who has had back-to-back -back years of over 3,000 passing yards and over 30 touchdown passes, and last year had 39 touchdown passes. He has transferred over to Wisconsin to play for new head coach Luke Fickle, and Wisconsin's offense is looking to probably be a lot better than it has been in years past. Tanner Mordecai is going to be a stud there at Wisconsin, and they finally have a really good quarterback, so I cannot wait to see him play there. He does have an interception 
interception problem. He does like to throw it downfield quite a bit. We'll see if Luke Fickle kind of dies back on how much he is throwing downfield, which could also cut down on the interceptions as well for Tanner Mordecai. Um, Luke Fickle has always been a defensive head coach first. The Cincinnati defenses have been great, and he's heading to a program that has always had really good defenses in Wisconsin. So I really do think this is still going to be a defensive team, but if they can have Tanner Mordecai um, be a little bit better than like a game manager and, and play very smart, don't turn the ball over, but still be spectacular and find his receivers, I really do think that Wisconsin is in for a really big year this season. And next here at number seven, I do have a then Frank Harris is number one receiver the past few years, Zakari Franklin. This guy is a absolute stud and he is transferring from UTSA over to Ole Miss to play under Lane Kiffin. This, this is a big wide receiver who had 1,100 yards and 15 touchdowns last year as a receiver heading to play for the Rebels. I think that he is going to play a huge impact for Ole Miss this season and whoever the starting quarterback there is, whether it's Spencer Sanders or Jackson Dart, they have a huge target in Zakari Franklin who is going to rack in the touchdown catches. Next up at number six, we actually do have my second and the last offensive lineman here on this list and that is the transfer out of Rhode Island. A Johnny Cornelius he is a tackle transfer out of Rhode Island and he is heading over to play for Oregon now I know what you guys are thinking he played for Rhode Island last year but this guy is one he's gonna be one of the best tackles in college football this year and to have him protect Bo Nix's blind side and Oregon is already a school that produces some pretty good uh, tackles over uh, recent memory so I think that he is in a good place he's going to develop well there and that is a, such a huge pickup here for Oregon this season. Coming in here at number five I do have our second transfer out of Virginia and that is Fentrell Cypress. Fentrell Cypress is a corner and was the second best corner in the transfer portal this offseason. The number one best. You guys probably know who it is. We'll get to him in a second but Fentrell Cypress was a beast for Virginia last year. Had 14 passes batted down as a corner last year. Super impressive and he is heading over to play for Florida State this season. Just another really good get by Florida State this offseason. They have had such a good transfer portal class and it really is uh, such a big impact all these players they have been getting and it is a big reason why they are so hyped up this year by so many people including myself. They have such a good roster coming in this year and Fentral Cephas is going to contribute a ton to that this year. Here at number four, we do have a transfer out of Georgia, and that is a wide receiver named A.D. Mitchell. A.D. Mitchell was a beast his freshman season in 2021. Then in 2022, he was injured over the first part of that season, but towards the end, he was really lighting it up, and especially in the college football playoff, where in each of the college football playoff games, he did have a receiving touchdown. Well, he is transferring over to Texas, and I think that is so huge that Texas has them because now they have one of, if not the best, wide receiver core in college football this year. And I am not even exaggerating. We have seen how impactful having the best wide receiver core in college football what that can do for you in college football. I mean, we've seen all these great Alabama teams have amazing wide receiver cores. 2019 LSU had amazing wide receiver cores. Like, A.D. Mitchell to Texas playing alongside Xavier Worthy and tight end Jatavion Sanders. Like, this wide receiver core is absolutely stacked and it's almost starting to me make me believe that texas is going to be back this year i definitely think that they have a shot at it ad mitchell was a a plus get in the portal for texas and here at number three we do have a quarterback transfer out of nc state and that is quarterback devin leary he is transferring over to kentucky and last season he did 
uh, struggled with some injuries. He was injured the second half of the 2022 season there for NC State. But in 2021, he did pass for 3,400 yards and 35 touchdowns with only five interceptions. He was phenomenal in 2021. And in 2022, I had high hopes for him and NC State. Um, kind of let down there, but he did struggle with some injuries as well. I think that playing for Kentucky, which is going to have a better offense than the NC State offense in 2021 where he had his best season. I think that he could have a bounce back year and really tear things up here for Kentucky in this great offense. I think that he is a better college football quarterback than Will Levis was. Probably not a better NFL prospect, but a better college football player. And I think Devin Leary is in for a huge year this year for the Wildcats. Coming in here at number two, we do have uh, a huge name transfer that transferred to Colorado. We all know who it is. It is Travis Hunter. He is, I don't think he gets appreciated enough because he didn't play in Division I football last year. He did play at Jackson State there under Deion Sanders, but now he is not only in Division I, but he is in the Power Five conferences here at Colorado, still playing under Deion Sanders. And he is going to play such an impact because not only is he one of the best, most talented corners in college football, but he can play wide receiver as well. And that is so huge. Now, Colorado, not going to be, you know, winning a ton of games this year, but I think he is going to have such an impact on his team and is just the best player on his team in general. I think Travis Hunter deserves to be up here at number two. He is such a great athlete, such a great football player, and he is up here at number two for me. And finally, coming in here at number one, we do have the transfer out of Wake Forest. He is a quarterback. He is the new Notre Dame Fighting Irish quarterback, Sam Hartman. Now, Sam Hartman has been one of my favorite players to watch in college football over the past few years at Wake Forest. He has been throwing thrown for over 4,000 yards in 2021, almost 40 touchdown passes in the last two years. And yes, he has had a high amount of interception, double digit interceptions the past two years. But I think that he can dial it back a little bit more here at Notre Dame since he doesn't have to heave it downfield all the time. He doesn't have to score on every possession like he did at Wake Forest because the Notre Dame defense is so such an improvement over Wake Forest's defense it is insane and that is going to help Sam Hartman a ton because he doesn't have to go out there and force things every single possession he is out there on the field because he knows his defense could give up a touchdown just like that so I think playing for Notre Dame is only going to help Sam Hartman and I'm very excited for him to play for the Irish this season but that is going to do it for this video let me know what you guys think and let me know if there are any snubs uh, down below in the comment section who did I snub off of this list and let me know if you guys want to see more content like this here on the channel like I said we are trying to grow this channel try to get to be one of the best if not the best college sports community here on YouTube so make sure you guys subscribe if you guys have not already and yeah guys thank you so much for watching